Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuei. Joining us is Achara Kirk. Hi. We're going to look at the honest trailers for Blade Runner, a movie we just watched again mm -hmm. to refresh our memory of it. And we're going to watch Blade Runner 2049 tonight. So check out our review when that drops. From the visionary director who only makes big visionary hits or big ambitious disasters <laughs> comes the clunky theatrical cut of his 80s classic, improved by a director's cut 10 years later and further refined by his final cut in 2007. Uh, we good to go, Ridley? Sure you don't want to go mess with the ending again? Or the voice of a rat can? In history books, he's the kind of cop used to call black men Ugh, probably not. Blade Runner. A good thing too. In 1982, yeah. audiences knew Harrison Ford as the charming rogue Han Solo or the charming rogue Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. Now, watch him ditch the whole charming act in the grumpiest Harrison Ford performance <laughs> since any time he's forced to promote a movie. This one, 35 years after the original. So what? Well, I'm just wondering, what a problem with that? <laughs> it's a living. Deckard, private dick, and public jerk with a serious drinking problem. You want a drink? You want a drink? I'll get you a drink. That's right. Drink some for me, Abel. He does drink a lot. He's a Blade Runner, part bounty hunter, part awkward psychiatrist. You're reading a magazine. You come across a full-page nude photo of a girl. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling on your arm. The entree consists of boiled dog. And as for why that's called a Blade Runner, Shut up. Yeah. It sounds cool. <laughs> exactly. That's right. He will struggle with the morality of killing things that seem to be alive, but he won't struggle with the morality of porking them against their will. Yeah. Yeah, I guess what. That was morally questionable. Yeah. That's not how consent works. Yeah. <laughs> real, as Deckard hunts robots known as replicants, soldiers, and sex bots filled with false memories. Those aren't your memories, they're somebody else's. An upgrade is cruel and pointless as giving your fleshlight a family history. And witness the breakout performance of Rutger Hauer, a replicant who speaks in monologues the actor wrote himself. All those moments will be lost in time like tears in rain. Literally the only time that's worked since Apocalypse Now. You're an errand boy sent by grocery clerks to collect a bill. And savor a film that saves its biggest twist for last. Deckard might be a replicant too. Or uh, is he? Maybe? It's pretty subtle and depends on the cut. You can take that test yourself. Whatever. Everyone acts like a sad robot anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Get ready to think, because this slow ass movie is gonna give you plenty of time for that as you spend hours staring at old photographs. Yeah, what was that about? Staring at eyes. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, ew. And staring at Deckard, staring at the window of his car. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Experience a visual masterpiece that influenced countless animes, cyberpunk films, and all those times someone says enhance at a screen over and over again. Enhance, 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 enhance. Cause this ain't your <laughs> daddy's bright and shiny sci-fi. This one has rain and sigs and hookers and stuff. And forget about plucky rebels fighting the evil empire. This one's about corporations making your life short and meaningless. And if that's too dark for you, at least the umbrella sticks light up. Ooh, glowy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So enjoy this story that sees so clearly into the future, predicting our modern anxieties about genetic engineering, corporate ownership, and Ridley Scott's unicorn fetish. <laughs> that may not have done well at the box office, but broke the all-time record for the number of film geeks insisting it's genius. All right, come on, guys. It looks amazing and all, but this is film noir with robots. If it was perfect, they wouldn't have recut it a hundred times. 
starring Definitely Shoots First, <laughs> Billy Idol, <laughs> yes, Finkel is right. Einhorn, Einhorn is Finkel, Littering, <laughs> Captain Adama, William Ain't Macy, Four Eyes, uh, No Eyes, <laughs> Sex Machina, Sex Machina, and Los Angeles Two Years From Now. <laughs> oh, I nailed that one. Robocop? <laughs> You know, it's cool Harrison's rebooting all his iconic roles, but there's not much left after Deckard. How long until we get re-witnessed, re-regarding Henry, Air Force Two? Actually, I'd totally watch that. <laughs> get back on his plane. Get back on my plane. I agree with everything they said in this. Every Everything they pointed out is exactly like the things that I felt when I was watching it. Especially that scene when Harrison Ford, or Deckard, kisses the replicant. I'm like, there is something yeah. eerily like, uncomfortable like, oh, about this. What is this? Is this... Is this rape? Does she really want it? Like, I'm confused. I'm so confused right now. Yeah, I'm I, not really I, comfortable. I had to justify it in my head. I was like, well, maybe he didn't push her that hard. <laughs> yeah, I know. You. Like, <laughs> I was like, he threw her against the wall, and he's making her tell him to kiss him. And you're like, oh. And then when they start making out, you're like, oh. Maybe maybe yeah. didn't push her that hard. I don't know. Maybe she likes it. it I don't know. Confusing. It was yeah. It was it was. It, was it reminded really me of the uh, it reminded me of the um, rape love scene in Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. I don't remember that. Oh well, this dude basically forces himself on Zhang Ziyi and then she's into it. Like, all right, I guess that happened. So yeah, I think that it was one of those moments. I can't believe I'm trying to justify this. It was like one of those moments where he was trying to make her see reason, which is like it's okay. Right, yeah, I, I I think that's how you have to justify it, right? Yeah. Like, she was trying to say no because she didn't know whether the feelings that she was having were genuine feelings or if they were feelings because they were implanted from memories yeah. or whatever. I guess the question is, was being made to feel. what's the difference? <laughs> like, ultimately, that's the question, right? If it's artificially implanted or you actually had it, if you feel it, what's the difference? Well, yeah, if you feel it, you feel it, right? You know, I guess yeah, that's the point. Maybe. But yeah, all the remarks, like even like Screen Junkie is saying, you know, it was kind of a yawn fest. It's a masterpiece, though. Yeah, uh, it's true. Like, it's true. You know, it is slow, like we talked about in our review. It is a slower film. It's a slow burn. But there burn. are just these, like moments of genius throughout it. This is really, really creative stuff. Yeah. And so it's, it, I can't ignore that aspect of it. I want to do a final, final cut of this <laughs> with like more running. <laughs> <laughs> more, more, more blades, more, more, unicorns, more running, more unicorns. Yeah, more, more unicorns and like like just chop it up a little bit so it moves quicker. Yeah. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed with their commentary on it and I get a complete agreement with it. I was trying to see if they mentioned Fifth Element in their list of films. Yeah, because Fifth Element really does kind of have a lot of things that are very similar. Like when, when I watched this, like the cars, the city, well, the especially, costumes. Especially even. the way the cars looked and flow, you know, were flying around and yeah. stuff. It looked exactly like Fifth Element, just darker. I'm inclined to believe that Luc Besson borrowed from this movie in his vision. He even used one of the replicants as yeah. one of his soldiers in Fifth Element. I mean, Blade Runner was very influential for other films, right? It had a significant impact on filmmakers. So Screen Junkies mentions four movies, Dread, Strange Days, The Matrix, and Dark City. And it's funny that they mentioned Dark City because I talked about that just mm -hmm. a, a little bit in our review of it. And Strange Days is a film by, um, Oh geez, James Cameron, I believe. Did you see Strange Days? No, I've never that seen That was it. a really interesting movie. You should definitely check it out. If you guys haven't seen Strange Days, it's a movie that was a bit ahead of its time talking about, uh, let's see, it's, oh, it's directed by Catherine Bigelow. Oh. Screenplay J by James Cameron and Jay Cox. Well, she was his so, wife. J yeah, which, exactly. Catherine Bigelow is a beast when it comes to directing. That was an intense movie, basically, following, who's the main actor? It was, it was the guy who played uh, the bad guy in Schindler's List, uh, Ray, Ray Fiennes. He did a bang up job in that movie. He did a really, really good job. And it was about these people with VR goggles, if I recall correctly, and you kind of record memories. And basically there was just, it was following this guy who's trying to catch a rapist. Oh. It was an intense movie, but wow. it was so well done. Not that many people talk about it, interestingly enough. I, I don't know, maybe it's like, it'll gain more respect with time. When it's did like it come out? 1995. 1995. Yeah, wow. it was I an intense film, 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb. I guess not everybody loves it, but I liked it a lot. I thought it was a very like well done film. And so it makes sense that it was inspired by Blade Runner. It doesn't mention Fifth Element here, but it, it mentions four dark movies. So that makes sense. I definitely uh, see how it had a significant impact on films that came after it. And I didn't even realize the, the impact it had on anime, but that completely makes yeah. sense. Akira and whatnot, Ghost in the Shell. I, I totally get it. Again, I agree with Screen Junkies and I am really, really happy with this video because it just encapsulates everything that I felt about 
about Blade Runner while watching it today. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Let us know in the comments below how you felt about it. If you want to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash jabbykawaii. There are different tiers with different rewards there waiting for you. If you are interested in that stuff, please check out a Char Kirk on the social media. Man, I've given you a lot of stuff to think about already in that like little... <laughs> check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kawaii. This is... A Char Kirk. Peace out.